Disclaimer, the author does not claim ownership of the documents, images, audio, music, video and other materials used in this lesson. They remain the property of the original creators, who are mentioned in the acknowledgement section of this lesson. The said materials are used for educational purposes only. Thank you very much. Installing and configuring computer systems, MELX, LO2. Prepare installer, codes, TLE underscore IACSS 9-12 ICCS if J29. Lesson 1. Prepare installer. Content standard, the learners demonstrate an understanding of concepts and principles in installing and configuring computer systems. Performance standard, the learners shall be able to install and configure computer systems based on established procedures and system requirements. Lesson 1. Prepare installer. Objectives, at the end of the lesson 80% of the students will be able to Number 1. Identify the meaning as well as the purpose of the installer in the computer system. Number 2. List down the different types of installation. Number 3. Demonstrate how to create a bootable USB from Power ISO. What's in? An installer is a piece of software used to install software programs on a system. Installers simplify software installation by providing the user a step-by-step -step process with the ability to select the desired options. An installation program or installer is a computer program that installs files, such as applications, drivers, or other software, onto a computer. Some installers are specifically made to install the files they contain. Other installers are general purpose and work by reading the contents of the software package to be installed. What's new? Types of installation. Number 1. Attended installation is the most common form of installation. An installation process usually needs a user who attends it to make choices, such as accepting or declining an end-user license agreement (ULA), specifying preferences such as the installation location, supplying passwords, or assisting in product activation. Number 2. Silent installation does not display messages or windows during its progress. All silent installations are unattended but not all unattended installations are silent. The reason behind a silent installation may be convenience or subterfuge. Malware is almost always installed silently. Number 3. Unattended installation is performed without user interaction during its progress or with no user present at all. One of the reasons to use this approach is to automate the installation of a large number of systems. An unattended installation either does not require the user to supply anything or has received all necessary input prior to the start of installation. Number 4. Headless installation performed without using a computer monitor connected. In attended forms of headless installation, another machine connects to the target machine, for instance, via a local area network and takes over the display output. Since a headless installation does not need a user at the location of the target computer, unattended headless installers may be used to install a program on multiple machines at the same time. Number 5. Scheduled or automated installation is a process that runs on a preset time or when a predefined condition transpires, as opposed to an installation process that starts explicitly on a user's command. For instance, a system administrator willing to install a later version of a computer program that is being used can schedule that installation to occur when that program is not run. An operating system may automatically install a device driver for a device that the user connects. Number 6. Clean installation is done in the absence of any interfering elements such as old versions of the computer program being installed or leftovers from a previous installation. In particular, the clean installation of an operating system is an installation in which the target disk partition is erased before installation. Since the interfering elements are absent, a clean installation may succeed where an unclean installation may fail or may take significantly longer. Number 7. Network installation 
is an installation of a program from a shared network resource that may be done by installing a minimal system before proceeding to download further packages over the network. This may simply be a copy of the original media but software publishers, which offer site licenses for institutional customers, may provide a version intended for installation over a network. How to create bootable USB from Power ISO Step 1. Run Power ISO. Step 2. Insert the USB drive you intend to make bootable. Step 3. Choose the Menu Tools tab and create bootable USB drive. Step 4. Select Create Bootable USB Drive dialog will pop up. If you are using Windows Vista or Windows 7 8 operating system, you need confirm the UAC dialog to continue. Step 5. In Create Bootable USB Drive dialog, click the Browse button to open the ISO. Step 6. Select the USB drive from the destination USB drive list. If multiple USB drives are connected to the computer, please make sure that you have selected the correct drive. Step 7. Choose the proper writing method. Raw write is recommended. However, if raw write isn't working, please use USB HDD instead. Step 8. Click Start a button to start creating bootable USB drive. Step 9. After all data has been written to the USB drive, you should receive a message indicating that the bootable USB drive has been created successfully. Thank you for watching. Do not forget to click the subscribe button and hit the notification bell icon. And also don't forget to like, comment and share. See you next time. Keep safe and God bless.